guess we're here. Uh, oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Is that gonna fucking shoot him? Okay, let's... Let's, uh, get the hell away from that. Ah! Yeah, I already walked inside here, blew those guys up. I have a feeling that these things are gonna be fucking everywhere. Oh boy. Alright, so I'm assuming that there's a shitload of spawners in here. Yeah, just as I thought. Damn it. Okay. This is gonna be a little insane to start initially. Shit. What was that? Damn it. I'm getting shot at from everywhere. Okay. See a spawner, definitely wanna blow that up. Oops. Oh boy. Holy moly. So I can't believe this is actually going to be the third episode of me on this particular mission. Like I said, now you all know why I didn't want to just, like, go head first into this thing. Uh, I wanted to take my time. So, okay. Let's uh, get our bearings here. I hear a lot going on, but I have a feeling that's all on a different floor. So I think we're safe for now. I'm just gonna try and collect a couple things. Oh yeah, yeah, there's definitely a second floor there. I don't wanna fall down. Don't want to do that now, would we? I don't think any of this stuff is lootable. Doesn't look like it anyway. <sighs> okay. So there's definitely a lower floor, I see that. Is there an upper floor as well? A little nervous going in there with my health the way it is currently. And that's why. <laughs> ah, shit. What just shot at me? Something just fucking shot at me. I didn't even see what the hell it was. Damn it. I was gonna say I don't see it. Crap. Alright, let's go ahead and take one of these things. Okay. This is just kind of survival at this point. We're doing all right, though. We're doing okay. We're not. Uh, we're not dead yet. <laughs> all right. So I know I was getting shot at from something down this way, and it was either one of those little floor dudes or it was a turret. The floor dudes are also, I guess, called turrets. <laughs> How am I doing on shotgun ammo? Still looks like I have plenty. Definitely want to use this, because this is kind of my, my better weapon. All right. I'm still getting... Ah, there he is. There he is. I got him. All right, cool. Okay. What's in these cargo boxes? Bunch of nice shit, probably. That I can't take... All right, let's switch back over to this because I seem to be getting a lot of projectile rifle rounds. So definitely want to use, you know, the the don't want to completely run out of ammunition for one, you know, uh, <laughs> weapon. Whew, yeah, I'm having a hard time thinking. Uh, gold coins. Do I want to take those? I don't think so. I think really everything that I have in my inventory right now is stuff that I'm I'm gonna get like good money for selling. So okay. Uh, and this looks like this is all, like, good stuff, but nothing that I really need, per se. Is he alive? Oh, no, he's definitely dead. No, he's not. Alrighty, then. God, we are really far away above the ground. <laughs> if I fell down right there, I'd probably be dead. Because there's also, apparently, we're within firing range of some pretty bad facilities. I actually saw where my ship is. I think it's... Where is it? Yeah, that's where I'm parked. 
Look at that fucking place. Holy balls, man. And then these things have guns on them. Yeah, F that. Unless, actually, that might have been where I was. Like, that went to there. And now I'm here. That would make sense. That makes total perfect sense. Okay, um, so I guess whatever I'm here to do is probably up on this level. Okay, so I see, I see you. Let me see if I can get to it. Okay, got that. Switch over to this. How's my health looking? All right, tell you what, let's take an emergency ration. Oops. That'll help with health a little bit. Can I take the helmet off? No, okay. So we are not in an oxygenated room. Okay. Hmm. Too close to the generator. Ooh, a bunch of generators in here. That's a lot of copper ingots to pass up. Hmm. Uh, could I make a force field? I feel like I could make a force field. Don't want to get rid of that. That just seems like a bad idea, because I don't know if I'm going to be in a situation. What's this? Effective against stunned? Man, fuck that. I don't... Let's, let's, let's not do that. Okay. I might regret that later. Watch me get stunned like, you know, the next enemy I run into stuns me somehow. Ooh, fuel tank. Nice. Oh. Holy bloody shit. Holy moly. Okay. We're definitely going to come back to... We're definitely coming back here, for sure. Like, that's, that's happening. So, all right, hold on. What am I here for? Release info. Release info, like, as in release a switch, uh, release a lever, release something. Did I use up all my explosive devices? No, okay. Alright, um, I already have an assault rifle. Is everything T2? Definitely wanna, don't want to take anything unless it's T2. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I'm assuming that I am looking for, like, a switch of some kind. Aha! What's this? I see a switch. Receiving a reply signal. What does it say? Glad you are here, Alex. Oh, Alex! Nice! We found our buddy Alex. Oh my god, that is Alex. <laughs> Commander, someone has started self- <gasps> No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I forgot about that. Can I actually get out of here in time? Report back to the radar station. Holy moly. Teleport back, although no coordinates, no flight vector. At least the Grand and most fleet survived this ambush. They are probably safe because the Xerox don't know where they went. Okay. So, hold on. With any luck, our actions just now didn't accidentally reveal that location to them either. A good end, although a dead end, Commander. Oh, okay. So, I guess we are not quite where we need to be then. I have a good feeling about this. All right. I hear a bunch of blorps and bloops and blops. I don't appreciate it. I don't like these blorps. Now let's get the hell out of here. Okay. 
All right, so chapter five, Ancient Revelations. Two steps forward, one step back. At least you made contact with your new CH comrades, although the message was a bit short and cryptic. You won't have much time to worry about that. Events of serious gravity seem to have been put in motion. An ancient threat hibernating for centuries has started to rise its ugly hit again and asking for your attention. You should answer the call. Let's go. Okay. So, um, I think I need to get back to the comm array. Oh, we were receiving a message from the Talon. Nice. Okay, so this is that. Dear friend, we are happy to see you still alive, but we received some alarming info about the legacy. So this is that kind of like, seems like flood type stuff. Our Polaris Airlines told us that they lost one of their capital vessels, the Ilmarin. The vessel was exploring distant systems for the last few years. Its goal is to find new worlds and new resources. The company lost contact with the ship about half a year ago. They've just told us that new lead to track, but because the Xerox patrol is getting much more frequent in the months since your people's arrival, they are not able to officially investigate themselves. Now they're asking if you can lend a hand. Details, please. Great. We knew the galaxy could count on you. The Polaris HQ has sent us coordinates to a small contact with contact with control station. I'm just gonna read this real quick. Okay, so basically we just need to go find this ship. The hell why is that not doing anything? I was gonna say, what the hell is that all about? What the deuce? What is going on? I can't destroy that thing? Oh god, there I hate it when there's like guns that you can't destroy. That's so annoying. Because it's like, because you don't know. You don't know until you start going after it, and then they just tear you to pieces. So, anyway. How did I get in here? Uh, should I put... Okay, my helmet's already on. Ooh, yeah. Now, here's the big burning question I have is... Um, am I going to be able to leave in one piece? Yeah. Okay, that's what I was, that's what I was wondering. Ooh. Okay, this dumbass ship better not fucking disappoint me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you didn't get me. <laughs> Alright, let's... <laughs> Let's point ourselves away from the, that place, and let's go home. Actually, I just thought about something. Since I'm actually in Polaris territory, I'm actually just going to stop by real quick and sell off some of the crap that I got uh, that I don't need. Might as well, right? What's going on, everybody? Guess what I just did? I just really pissed off the Xerax, but I don't care. They, they, they shot first. Oh, wait a minute. No, I do want to go here. <laughs> Weapons and commodities. Yes, sir. Oh, he doesn't buy any T2 stuff. Oh, fucking shit. Well, then I got to go back out into space. I just realized there's a hole upstairs to this. I completely forgot about that Sky Guys bar. What the hell is all this? He sells a bunch of random stuff. That's kind of cool. Wow, look at all these different types of boosts. Huh, interesting. Oh, Jesus. Relax, man, you scared the crap out of me. God. Quantum star? What do, you, what, do you, what do you sell? Auto miner cores. Nice. My man, my dude. Please show me your offers. All right, I got a shotgun to get rid of. Apparently, I have two shotguns to get rid of. I have a pulse rifle. Yeah, I don't want it. Don't need it. Uh, how many... Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of those, actually, don't I? Wait a minute, do you, do you not buy assault rifles? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> do you even... Uh, yeah, no, he does not, he does not dabble in assault rifles. Trader Interweep. Interweep, that's a weird name. <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Yeah, this ship definitely looks cool, but it is all kinds of screwed up. I'll have to get on the forums and see if anybody's mentioned anything, like, specific about this 
this build because yeah there's just something something's wrong with it you know it's like the uh certain thrusters don't work or at least they don't work as intended i just realized the detector's actually floating on the top <laughs> shit that's so dumb Right, home again, home again, jiggity jig. I feel like I should like retire after that. Whew. Lower to Jesus. All right, well, I got one hell of a haul out of that. I will say that. Um, I think I put some stuff in this cargo box, didn't I? Let's check that real quick. Oh yeah, I had all kinds of stuff that I put in here. That's right, and I actually had a core. I completely forgot about that. All right, let's get all this stuff out. All right, cool. Gosh, I was gone so long that a bunch of my vegetables grew and <laughs> are ready to be picked. So yeah, so actually it's really like a fun mission, um, but man, yeah, it takes a while and it's like nerve wracking and um, it'll, it'll put a hurting on you too. So I'm really glad that we found that heavy armor. Otherwise we would have been hard pressed to get through that alive. In fact, I'm really gonna need to load up, I think on medical supplies, definitely a ton of bandages moving forward just to make sure that I have some extra stuff for whatever the next mission is going to be because the next one's probably going to be pretty tricky um minefield yeah, yeah yeah so it's like we got to go to basically an abandoned spaceship yeah oh yeah an ancient threat hibernating for centuries to start race. yeah so this is going to be rough definitely it's going to be rough what did we get for oh we didn't get anything for that we got seal of credibility that's cool all right. Well, we will get. Oh, sorry, we will get seal of credibility for that. Are these just like random missions we can take for those particular factions? You can shut down some of their drones just for the sake of wildlife. And, oh, okay. So, so what's what's this? Is it just like you do it and then you life cam scout a few war deposits only for checking? Okay. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. I guess you can just take random missions if you want to get like extra standing with them and. I mean, they'll give you some good stuff for it. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. But anyway, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. This has been one hell of a uh, couple episodes there to get through that mission and um, do what we had to do. So I think my next thing is, yeah, just figuring out what the hell is wrong with this, uh, which I'm determined now to find out what's, what's going on with this damn thing. And from there, just, you know... I guess getting gearing up and get prepared for the next one. I have some great armor now. I have some awesome weapons. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got some work to do to get ready to head out for that next mission. So anyway, I'll catch up with you all in the next episode. And in the meantime, if you find yourself on the moon, taking the step for the first time, even though, well, man's already walked on our moon. But if you find yourself on a strange moon, cold, weary, and with plenty of ammunition, just start, just start killing Xerax, man. Just, just like, pump them full of lead. The damn bastards. Fuck them. See you on the next episode.